So here I am, toughing it in Florida at a campsite. It's a tough life, but someone's got to do it, so I'm taking advantage of it. Even got horses in the background. I don't know if you can see them, but they're back there somewhere. So I was having a conversation with the gentleman that's next to me. He's from Canada. And we were talking about faith and being a believer and a follower of Christ. He was talking about his near-death experience this past couple years ago, in, in which he found himself almost at the brink of death. Well, not almost. He was there. And he said the walls were just closing in and everything was black. And he was wondering about his faith and his relationship with Christ and where that where really was going. You see, one of the struggles I realized and was that he's concerned about sin. And I have the question, what qualifies or disqualifies you from heaven? What sin could you do that God would not forgive? I thought about Moses, and Moses, the great leader who led the people out of Israel, was not allowed to go into the promised land because he sinned. Did that mean that he wasn't allowed to go into heaven? I don't think that's true. In fact, if you go to Matthew chapter 17, you'll find a scripture there that we refer to as the uh, Mount of Transfiguration, where Jesus, Moses, and Elijah were meeting together and talking. Where was Moses? Well, he was with Elijah, and he was with Jesus a long time after he died, which seemed to indicate that, well, he was in heaven. Why? Because you see, everyone that God forgives is forgiven. You may have a hard time forgiving yourself or someone else, but God doesn't. And so if you're in a place that you're wondering whether or not Christ is going to take you into the place that he promises, well, then trust him. Understand that he says that everyone who comes to him will not be cast out. Everyone. So it doesn't matter what you've done. Take it to Christ. He's forgiven you already. Hey, until next time, God bless.